about a band that's just music fans first and foremost we never toured that much we're just like you know when you you kind of see touch and go and all those kinds of bands in the 80s and you think wow that's great and then somebody you're somehow associated with those bands in any way you go you know, we don't have it you know we aren't some big band we're just fans of music I used to be a fan of the digits and be in the audience going, if we could be on this label with the digits and with Great Man and with all the other bands, I mean, that was that was our goal. That's and what I, label oh, we wanted. That, to that be was on. out, and a, you know, we, and never was, will happen. That's just completely out of the realm of possibility. That's so, and then all of a sudden, there we are. We haven't put one out in seven years, and you know we were invited to and this. Here we are. And, you know, none of our albums sold that good. You know, uh, really. You know, I mean, a few of them did okay, but nothing that is going to make a label. But we come back to Corey, go, well, we aren't sure if you want to put out this next one, but you know, we got some songs together. He's like, let's, let's do, do it. it. What do you say? I'm still a fan. Let's do it. I'm still like, a fan. You know. And I go, I don't know if that last record was that. as good, Corey. He goes. Loved it. Let's do another. How, how gratifying is that for a band? It's just like, you know, recording songs in the basement. Can you turn the Have camera off? that Can you <laughs> a rock star. Todd, I know we're not rocking hard enough for you right now. <laughs> Art Welder is seriously, Bob Weston and I have discussed this at length, the only band in the history of recorded music to never record a bad song. Ever. <laughs> He's far too kind. Go, ba go back and listen to this. <laughs>
Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Touch and Go. We love you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It's an incredible honor to be here.